Hello and welcome to The Distinguished Gamer. I'm Dark Bunny and this week Red Dead has released another update with more content and we are going to have a quick look at that. Before we get to it, if you enjoy our videos, just hit that like button, subscribe to our channel and keep up to date with, with any new content that we bring out. Thank you for watching. Now, let's get to it. We'll head over to the benefits section. This week what they have done is, as they stated with the naturalist role, they are going to bring out additional content, as in more animals, more clothing items, etc, etc. So what they've done is brought in two new legendary alligators, the Tika and the Sun Gators. Uh, I'm not going to read this to you, uh, obviously everyone can, can read. What they've done further is brought in 50% bonus XP and payouts on the legendary alligator on samples and the skin cells. So whether you take samples of it to Harriet or the skins to Gus, you will get 50% bonus XP and 50% more on your payouts, which is nice. Gus's trapper shop has also now uh, made the Tika coat and sun coat available, obviously from the legendary alligator that that you get the the skin from you'll also receive a new colorway uh, of the brand new corchado poncho as a bonus further than that there's a couple of other bonuses if you hunt the legendary alligators you will get a special colorway of the oquin hat um, for taking down the sun gator and you'll get a special colorway of the hell's bee gloves um, sorry, you'll get the, uh, for the Sun Gator, you'll get the special colorway of the Hellsby Gloves and for the Tika Gator, the colorway of the O'Quinn Hat. And those rewards will obviously be sent to you within 48 hours. At Gus's Trapper Shop, as I said, they, uh, the coats have become available once you bring him the animals. We also have naturalist bonuses. So if you become a naturalist, you'll get a free roll accessory outfit or remote. And that's any time from now through August 24th, you'll get this reward of a free accessory outfit or remote of your choice. And obviously just to become a naturalist, you need to speak to Harriet and purchase your animal field guide, legendary animal map and the sample kit, which is 25 gold to start. There's also limited time rewards for naturalists. The Farn, Farn Holm Double Bandolier and the Gila Monster Flag. From now until the 24th of August, you can take advantage of these. So complete any sighting mission and you'll get the Farn Holm Double Bandolier. And sedate and sample any animal and you'll get the exclusive Gila Monster Flag. Let's see, what else do they have? Just the latest styles. As I said earlier, new colorways uh, for the new items added, the Cochado Poncho, the Fair Barn, Fair Bairn. Well, that word, dress and more. The Cochado Poncho, Sandoval Jacket, Windcliff Coat, Fair Bairn Dress, Litten Dress, Pedrosa Pants, Plata Pants, a Quinn Hat, Tiltum Hat, Halsby Gloves and Morton Boots. These are new permanent items that will be available in the Wheeler and Ross and Co catalog. Uh, there's also the new colorways that have been added for the Marshall coat, the Killerman vest, the diamond back hat to the Wheeler, Ross and Co catalog. And it's because, you know, they, they're playing on the, the idea that uh, with the new alligators, there's an abundance of alligator leather stock, which is, which is quite nice. Um, and again, they just mentioned here about the Teka coat and the sun coat that have been brought in. As I mentioned in one of my previous videos, I was busy making gold to unlock the Outlaw Pass number three. I have now done that, so I am enjoying all the benefits associated with it. As you can see, I'm almost rank 42 already. If we just hop back quickly. If you start playing the game anytime now, while the season pass is active the rewards here at the top which is the first one is a 50 dollar reward you unlock an ability card you get the clovely pants 
Clovelly pants, sorry. Uh, and things like that, you know, cloth wrap, um, select camp equipment discounts. As you can see, there's there's loads, well, not loads, but there's, there's a couple of um, benefits that you get. And this, you are automatically part of it. You will get these uh, regardless whether you buy the Outlaw Pass or not. However, if you do buy the Outlaw Pass, which is why I did, you will unlock this bottom section where you, uh, as I went through now, you'll see there's a lot more that gets unlocked and you do make your gold back. So it's not a waste of 40 gold. You you get it back quite quickly. Um, I've already unlocked quite a few nice new outfits. Uh, so yeah, it's, I'm just enjoying playing it right now. Another thing though, I have stated in the previous video that I'd like to play things in order which means I'm gonna have to do the moonshine roll first and then get to the naturalist roll but after playing a bit and, and reading different articles and watching different YouTube streams of the the naturalist I've decided that I'm gonna wait on the the moonshiner for now as soon as I have 25 gold which I almost have I am going to unlock the naturalist role and start playing that also you know just to be kind of current and up to date with with Rockstar as they they bring out these updates um, I think it'll be just fun to to hunt everything and, and so on. Also, um, as, as brought up in a previous video, they, uh, I discussed a bit about the community being rather divided at present. With, you know, some saying that this role is nonsense and, you know, Rockstar should, uh, shouldn't bring something stupid like tracking animals and sedating them. You know, we cowboys, we outlaws, we want to rob banks and stuff like that and you know i personally i, I like the the new role I, I like the idea of it and i actually read an article about a week ago and the girl that wrote it explained that this new role has basically forced her to really play the game differently and it, uh, it made me think as well. And you know what? It's for me, that's why I like the role. Because I like exploring. I like running around. I like doing not the, the normal things that people usually do. I, like in the single player, I've, I've done almost all the additional content and explored and found stuff, etc and I love playing like that and what this new role actually forces you to do is explore you know um, this person stated that they've they've actually gone to places on the map that they've they've never been to before just because they now have to go and and find an animal or track an animal in in a certain area and I love that. I, I absolutely love that because the world is so diverse and uh, rich in life, and and it's a it's a very beautifully crafted world. So it's worth taking the time and enjoying it, going different places, doing side quests, just exploring. And this new role literally forces you to do that. It's not just about riding around as fast as you can and killing every animal and shooting every guy you see. Yes, I know some people like to play like that, but you know what? You don't have to. That's another thing that's so awesome about this game. You can play it in so many different ways and just enjoy the beautiful world. So I can't wait to start diving into the naturalist role myself so that I can explore and search for animals and study them and take samples etc and yeah you know it's nice unlocking clothes from Gus and I will actually get some of them as well especially the trinkets 
because they add nice bonuses. But I'd, I'm definitely going to dive head on into the, the naturalist role and just have as much fun as I can with it. And as I said, with the um, this Outlaw Pass Season 3, there's so many rewards that you you get. Um, I've I've unlocked quite a few already, but uh, I mean it's such a boost. Uh, you'll see this one free to 2,000 naturalist XP. I've got another one over there. I've got sedative uh, varmint cartridges, legendary animal pheromones. So it's definitely worth uh, getting the the outlaw pass. Just for all the extras that you get, it it makes it a lot of fun. And in saying that, I'm. I hope everyone really. I, I don't want to keep using the same word, but I hope everyone starts playing the game with total immersion. You know, it is one of the best games I've ever played, and if you immerse yourself in this world, get lost in it. You know. It's it's amazing. Um, you can just get on your horse and go for a ride and st take out your camera, photograph animals, study them, explore the world. It's it's such an awesome awesome thing to do. And I hope everyone really enjoys it. <laughs> 